Greetings, sports fans nationwide. You have entered the Sports Opinion Log. And in this video last night, AFC, NFC, Divisional Round Playoffs, bright lights were activated, national stage was set. Who rose to the occasion and who fell? I'm going to get into it right here and right now. So if you're down with all things NFL, AFC or NFC, it matters not. But what does matter is that you subscribe to that channel and press the bell icon so you get the notification for the next upcoming future video while I, the master of the shovel pass, discuss the winners and the losers. Let's go. This video, Sports Fans Nationwide, I'm just going to be speaking from the heart. I'm going to throw in some stats, but I don't care what anyone wants to say. Same old Browns, the Kansas City Chiefs advance 22 to 17 final score as stupid Andy Reid's horrible play calling led to Patrick Mahomes getting knocked out early in the third quarter with a concussion, and yet the Browns were unable to capitalize to score one of the biggest potential upsets in NFL history. They just couldn't get the job done. But yet, the Browns were all so happy to sing and dance on my and your Pittsburgh Steelers. But again, when the bright lights were activated, the national stage was set. The Browns fucking couldn't get the job done. So fuck Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry, Nick Chubb, Miles Garrett. You guys choked. You could have had the goddamn game of a lifetime. You could have punched your ticket to the AFC championship round. But instead, you get sent home with talks about how much you accomplished nothing and how the future is bright. Don't be led astray by that bullshit because some teams never find their way back. So indeed, it is the same old Browns. And how about the fumble? The fumble into the end zone that led to a touchback. Again, same old Brown. Being the sports historian, let me just talk about it. Rashad Higgins fumble at the one was the Browns' first loss fumble in the playoffs inside the 10-yard line since Ernest Biner in the 1987 AFC Championship game. Known as the fumble, Biner fumbled at the one with the Browns down 38 to 31 with one minute and 12 seconds left in the game. Oh, how apropos. And here's a picture of that helpless fumble. Take a look. And how about Chad Hens' 13-yard run on third and 14, making it his longest rushing attempt since week 14 in 2013? And how about Andy Reid? going for it on fourth down. And, of course, the last time Chad Hinn had a passing conversion on fourth down, week 17 of 2013. And in a battle of the old men, the 40-plus-year-olds meeting for the third time in the NFC Divisional Round, and it is Tampa Bay Brady who gets by the intercept turnover machine-prone Drew Brees Final score, Tampa Bay 30, New Orleans Saints 20. And honestly, let me just say what it is, sports fans nationwide. Honestly, I'm not going to rag on Drew Brees. The truth of the matter is the man was playing with 11 fractured ribs. So can we please stop fucking talking about, oh, none of his passes went over for 20 yards. Why don't you try going on an NFL field with 11 cracked ribs. Come on, man. Let's be real here. But, of course, it is still, being a sports historian, as I have to note, it is the Saints' third straight playoff loss at home. It's time for Drew Brees to retire. Tom Terrific, he's setting all kinds of records, winning all types of games, and whoop de doo for Tom Terrific. While the Patriots sit home. And speaking of sitting home, how about Jameis Winston with the 56-yard touchdown strike against his former team? How apropos. you got to love the way it plays out. That's the beauty of any given Sunday. This is the reason why Drew Brees has to call it a career. 
The Saints are the first team in NFL history with 11-plus win in four straight seasons to not reach a Super Bowl during that time. The Buccaneers are the first team in NFL history to be outscored by an opponent 40-plus points in the regular season and then beat them in the playoffs. Or how about this? The Saints are the fifth team in NFL history with more than 30 passing touchdowns and more than 30 rushing touchdowns in a single season, including the playoffs. And New Orleans is the only team to not reach the Super Bowl. Unforgivable. Time to move on. Maybe they could have won if Taysom Hill was playing. And then, of course, Drew Brees talking to Jameis Winston. It's your team now. I'm sure Saints fans don't want to hear that whatsoever. Hell no. It's supposed to be Taysom Hill's team. That's the way it should be. And you can't speak enough about Leonard Fournette. Fournette is the reason why the Bucks are in this position. 22 touches, 107 scrimmage yards, one touchdown. Meanwhile, for the Saints, remember Michael Thomas? Wasn't he supposed to be a dominating wide receiver? He had all zeros on the day. Zero catches, zero yards, zero touchdowns. Michael Thomas, what happened, man? But Leonard Fournette, again, to mark the heroics, first player in Buccaneers history with 100-plus scrimmage yards and one-plus touchdown in two straight playoff games. Drew Brees with his three INTs on the day versus the Buccaneers, the most he's ever thrown in a playoff game. Jameis Winston, the 56-yard touchdown strike, the first passing touchdown by a Saints player not named Drew Brees in a playoff game since Aaron Brooks in the 2000 divisional round. How about Mike Evans joining Hall of Famer Randy Moss and Rob Gronkowski as the only players with 10-plus receiving touchdowns in the red zone from Tom Brady in a single season, yes, including playoffs. But before I put what I hope to be the shovel on the career of Drew Brees, let me go back real quick to note the last three playoff games at home that they lost. So starting with, of course, last night, he was 19 of 34, 134 yards, one TD, three interception. In 2019, in the NFC wildcard playoffs against the Minnesota Vikings, in which they lost 26-20 in overtime, Breeze, 26 of 33, 208 yards, one touchdown, one interception, and even last year, his longest pass, 20 yards. In the utter horrific 26-23 overtime loss in the NFC Championship game against the LA Rams, Drew Brees, again, pedestrian, 26 of 40, 249 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. It just doesn't equate to winning football, sports fans. Of course, the prophet will decree what the sports fans nationwide have been waiting to hear all year long. I am going to go for the Bills to upset the Kansas City Chiefs on the basis of Patrick Mahomes, the concussion, if he'll truly be ready, the Bills defense, Bills mafia, they're no joke. And of course, for the NFC Championship game, which will be played in Lambeau Field, Tom Terrific, Tom Brady, Tampa Bay Brady, Tom Terrific, Master of the Six Rings, the Danos of the NFL, taking on Aaron Rodgers, again, in Lambeau Field, hosting a championship game for the first time in his career, and the Prophet will decree, look for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to go into Lambeau Field and walk away with a trip to the Super Bowl. You know why sports fans nationwide? Because Brady, Gronkowski, A.B., Antonio Brown, they are used to playing in cold weather. Remember, it might be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but they have a cast and ensemble of players that are used to playing in cold, frigid, Harsh condition. And Aaron Rodgers, unfortunately, it'll be a situation of wrong place, wrong time. Until next time, still representing the Steel City from New York City, Lex Anderson signing out. Oh, and happy Martin Luther King Day.